During historic times, the native peoples of the Northeast cooked in iron, brass, and copper kettles. These kettles were traded to native families by the Dutch, French, English, and later the Americans. Such metal pots became a staple cooking utensil in native homes during the fur trade. Before European trade kettles, there was pottery. Clay pots, or earthenware vessels, had been made and used for hundreds of years by the native people. Because the clay was tempered, or mixed with other materials like broken seashells and ground up stone, these earthenware pots could be placed directly over the fire. Daily meals were cooked quite efficiently in these clay vessels. Another way to cook was by using stones. Rock's thermal properties lent themselves well for cooking. A single stone could store enough energy to cook a meal. On a larger scale, pits could be dug into the earth and lined with rocks, on top of which fires were built. This left the rocks hot enough to cook on. Or foods could be dried on racks above the hot rocks. Another way many cooked their soups and evaporated their maple sap was by hot stone boiling. Hot stone boiling made it possible to cook in containers that usually couldn't be placed directly over a fire. Containers such as wooden troughs, spark buckets, and rawhide pouches. To hot stone boil, rocks first had to be heated in a fire. Strong, stable stones were selected for this task. Rocks had to be of a certain type and quality that would withstand being heated and then placed into cold liquids. If the stones being used were not carefully selected, the stone boiler risked the stones exploding, resulting in serious injury. It does take a little bit of time and energy to bring the liquid up to a boil. A few gallons of maple sap could take 10 or so minutes of rapidly feeding it hot stones to bring it to boiling. However, once the boiling point is reached, the temperature can be maintained with little effort. The maple sap in this size vessel would take only one stone every 8 to 10 minutes to maintain a steady boil. The rapid boiling caused by the hot rocks creates a lot of steam. The efficiency of this cooking process is evident in the thick clouds of steam it produces. It is easy to understand why in the process of maple sugar making, hot stone boiling may be a favored method of evaporating the water content from the sap. Its practicality and efficiency made it a cooking method of choice in many applications. Want to learn more? Visit us at woodlandindianedu.com.